Hello, Nick Stewart here. And in this video, um, we're going to look at second passports and second citizenship in the Caribbean and the different islands and the different options that are available and which one might suit you best. Let's go and have a look at the video. So uh, a lot of the Caribbean islands offer citizenship in, by investment programs, in essence, where you make either a donation or invest in real estate in those particular islands. And in, in return, they will give you citizenship and a second passport. Um, so those countries primarily include, but not limited to, Antigua and Barbuda, uh, Dominica, uh, St. Lucia, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Grenada. Um, those are those are basically the main ones, and each offer you know each offer similar similar levels of investment, i.e., donation from a hundred thousand U.S. dollars upwards, and real estate investment from two hundred thousand dollars upwards, and it differs from uh, island to island. So I was actually recently at a summit in um, Portugal, in Lisbon, and a very interest. Uh, I met a guy called uh, Kevin Hosseini, um, who was a uh, citizenship by investment reg uh, re regulated um, person from Antigua. Um, he was originally from Trinidad, but um, so I actually asked him out of interest what uh what would you know out of those things which would he the best he said look i'm biased but i think the best two programs are St. lucia and antigua um so i would always recommend people to antigua um first uh St. lucia second however if it was a single applicant then i would uh push them towards St. lucia because of the the fees involved for a single applicant are much less than a, as a, a as a family so um that was that was quite an in, interesting you know interesting uh eye opener um from somebody that was actually based in the islands as to what they thought was the best um it my view is that they're all pretty good but i would definitely i would sort of def definitely agree with him the only other island that becomes interesting is Grenada if you have specific needs, right? Um, so, for example, if you want if you uh, if you want to get uh, visa free travel to China, then Grenada will be for, be it for you. Uh, if you want the cheapest uh, cheapest option, uh, you'd probably go for Dominica. However, Dominica. Um, Dominica allows Iranians, which is a good thing and a bad thing. However, does that affect their treaty status later on in life? You know, things if if things explode between America and Iran, for example, uh, later on, who knows? I, I can't I can't say. Those are just things that you have to you have to have some consideration for. Um, but in essence, um, as I said, the, the programs start from a hundred thousand uh but you time you time your fees you're probably looking at a minimum entry level of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, slightly less in dominica um which is the which is the most e economic uh option and generally within three literally within three to six months you will be the owner of a of a second passport and you don't have to do you don't even have to visit the country to actually achieve it um why would you have a second why would you choose to have a second passport uh, for the Caribbean, it's a good question because, generally speaking, um, you it's highly unlikely that you're going to live in the Caribbean that by the people that people are getting second passports. Generally, it's a very expensive lifestyle. Um, there are some people that want to live there, um, but generally, it's for it's really to do with visa free travel. So, generally, uh, you can go uh, UK, Europe, Canada, most places in the world, bar, bar the USA um i don't think australia um is visa free uh travel so it allows you to do all the things in the world that you want, don't want to do so to give you an example i had a, a um an indian client based in dubai 
And he said to me, look, he says, every time I, I, I make an appointment to go out and do business, I say, I'll see you when I get my visa. And for him, it was worth investing X amount of money to be able to not have that issue, right? Because he was obviously dealing at a level, you know, I mean, a meeting could be worth $250,000 to him. So, you know, spending less than that in one, on one, in one go that would cover all his problems for the whole future seemed like a a sensible um you know a sensible uh way of going about it so in essence that's how, how you have it um happy to get, provide more information for those who want it um but in, in in simple terms the the nutshell from this video it and this is special requirements uh antigua and Barbade, Bay, uh, barbuda and saint lucia are the best uh are the best two carabit in passports for second citizenship by investment okay speak soon and see you in the next video but please don't forget to like and don't forget to uh, subscribe to the video channel and hit the notification bell so you get reminded of the next citizenship by investment video thanks for watching the video and please feel free to connect with me on my personal website nickstuart.co really looking forward to hearing from you bye for now